hear from our members all the time, you know, and I get emails and phone calls that are like devastating to have to listen to and answer um, about how bad their working conditions are. And we recognize the large number of travelers we have in our institution. Um, and when Tracy said that she would go on a floor and not recognize 50% of the people, I feel the same way. I would go around like, talk to someone, I'm like, oh, you're a traveler, sorry. Oh, you're new, oh, hi. So it was, it was just really hard. And um, so we um, talked to our upper administration um, and said, you know, things need to change. And because of COVID, we had asked for like a one-year contract extension because we didn't want to be putting patient care on the back burner to be bargaining at the table. Um, so we went to them, um, we engaged our members, and we went and we asked for a 10% increase to our base wages. And I know that sounds like a lot, but when you look at what other places are paying around the country now, the sign-on bonuses, I mean, our own institution for the uh, OR was paying a $20,000 sign-on bonus, and we're still not attracting enough people. They still only had a few people come into that role since then. So 10% didn't seem totally off the mark when we went to speak with them. Um, they were not interested <laughs> in that. Um, but since then, we've had further conversations and we're hopeful because, I mean, we're gonna be bargaining next year. I, I understand that completely, but we can't wait. It's like Sarah said, it is right now people are leaving daily. Like on my unit alone, I just found out about three people who are cutting their hours or leaving. And they're gonna travel, and they're not even gonna travel that far. They might travel to New Hampshire or take another job in Vermont, but it makes more money than it is staying in our institution right now. So we're still working on it. We're still hopeful we can come to some kind of agreement with the administration. Just a step in the right direction to at least put the lid on everyone leaving right now. Right, so you're saying that there, there's a need to act in the short term to address the, the, the situation yes. and that what you put across was the, the, te the, the proposal mm -hmm. to raise base wages yes. by 10% um, for all nurses and techs. Correct. Okay, and that, was, that proposal was not accepted at this point? Correct. Or, so the status of that proposal is that it's been essentially- It's in limbo right it's now. It's in limbo yeah. right now. <laughs> Okay, all right, so you've, you all have worked collaboratively to try and, and work on solutions. You didn't get a response like, okay, you said 10, but we can't do 10 necessarily. What about you know, a, a different, you didn't even get a response, right? No, we didn't, and you know, I mean, we did the numbers. We knew how much it would cost the hospital roughly. I mean, they have like, what, a $1.5 billion budget and about almost 700 million of that is on salaries and wages um, and what we were asking for maybe totaled 15 million which when you're looking at 1.5 billion that's kind of a drop in the bucket.